This is a brief introduction to the Prodigy DC Arc by Teledyne Lehman Labs. Running samples on the Prodigy DC Arc is straightforward. First, the sample is weighed and then transferred into the appropriate electrode using a plastic funnel. Once the electrode is loaded, it is ready to place in the instrument. Using tweezers, the electrode is placed into the bottom holder. The position in the holder is automatically set. Once the sample electrode is in place, the counter electrode is placed in the upper jaws. The jaws are opened using the bottom knob on the front of the instrument. When both electrodes are in place, the electrode gap is set using the two upper knobs. The electrode gap size is determined by the sample type and is typically 2 to 4 millimeters. Once both electrodes are in place, the sample is ready to run. The elements to be measured are determined by the method that is selected in the instrument software. The operator clicks the Run Sample button, which ignites the arc and the sample is analyzed. Once the sample is completed, the results are immediately displayed on the screen. The electrodes are removed and the process is ready to begin again. These are some of the features and benefits of the Prodigy DC Arc. While techniques such as AA or ICP work well for liquid samples, some matrices can be nearly impossible to get into solution. For samples such as high purity copper, the digestion needed to get the solid into solution can dilute the sample beyond the detection limits obtainable with these techniques. The Prodigy DC Arc can analyze powders, briquettes, wires, and chips in their native form without the need to dilute or digest the sample. Because the Prodigy DC Arc does not require digestion or dilution of the sample, detection limits are very low for most analytes in most sample matrices. Typical detection limits are less than 1 ppm in the solid. Unlike many of today's analytical techniques, the Prodigy DC Arc is exceptionally inexpensive to operate. Apart from your sample, some graphite electrodes, and small quantities of argon or oxygen gas, there are few consumables associated with the Prodigy DC Arc.